Welcome to What's Working in Video. I'm your host, Kathleen Selmans. I'm the CEO of Amplified Now. We have a expert video marketing and content repurposing agency for people who know they need to do content marketing, but are their own bottleneck when it comes to that. Today, I have with me Bethany. Do you want to introduce yourself and your company? Yeah, absolutely. I'm Bethany McCamish, and I'm the founder of Bethany Works, and I do brand strategy, branding, and copywriting, and I'm excited to talk about how video has helped me in my business. Yeah. Do you think that video is an important part of somebody's brand strategy? Absolutely. But I will be fully transparent and say video has made me nervous in the past, like myself, um, because I work uh, with flat graphics. I also used to be a photographer, so I kind of identify with that behind the lens mentality of like, I'm the creator and I'm here making these things for other people. So um, myself doing video, I am always nervous, but I know how important it is for me in building my business and for my clients and using the materials I give them in that format. It's essential. Yeah, I so identify with what you said because two and a half years ago when I started my business, I wanted like a bland sounding business. I wanted it to look super professional so that it felt like, like I don't know, like more people would be interested in it. And so I hid, totally hid behind it. Um, it's the same way of when I first started blogging, I was anonymous and it was scary. It, but then like, yeah, it turns out like nobody wants to connect with like bland, nothing businesses that don't have pictures even on the about page, right? So it wasn't until like, I think probably this year for me, just getting more comfortable in front of the camera. I mean, I was doing it last year, but not not well. <laughs> well, what's so ironic about that is that a lot of what I do is identifying businesses, brand personalities, because I always say personalities are what makes connections and connections make sales, right? So if you don't have a personality that's backing your brand and that is beyond like the logo and the colors, it's everything. It's your messaging. It's all of that. If you don't have a personality that's pushing that, then you're not going to be able to make that connection. So that's like exactly what you're talking about with kind of a bland business name. And that's exactly how video would tie in is like if people don't know you and your personality, uh, your brand's personality, and the best way to do that really is through video because they can see your facial expressions, they can hear your voice fluctuate. Um, and I, I think that it's just really powerful. I do too. I, I, and now that I've embraced it, I'm like, I wish I had done it quite a bit more. Before. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How do you use video in your marketing? So I have just recently started using video for myself in uh, my marketing and I started on TikTok, <laughs> which I, I feel like strange putting that out there, but, uh, it's fun. I really love it. And you get access to like all this music. And if you're on there watching things, it's like quick and easy inspiration. And what I will say is that like I post on TikTok, I post on TikTok for Bethany Works. Those videos get, you know, decent views, like in wild the engagement, right? Like <laughs> wild. Yeah. Like you can post a video and within an hour have about 500, uh, you know, people who watched it and like if you ever did YouTube which I did YouTube a long time ago you know that that like feels so good because YouTube it's like one year later you might have that many oh yeah um, my yeah we do we do with our stuff we always put it on YouTube because Google owns YouTube yeah. and you have to play by Google's rules True. so and you can get your stuff indexed and stuff like that and you know after a week or two you have 11 views after yeah. five seconds, you have 25 views on on your one minute like reel on TikTok. It's I I keep convincing people who think that they're not their target isn't on TikTok to just go on there because it is fun. Yes, 
Yeah, it's fun and it's inspirational and there's a huge design community. So I will say a lot of the people who view my videos on there are probably designers themselves or in that niche. So I'm not necessarily thinking, okay, I'm going to get all these clients from TikTok or I'm going to get all this business, um, but I am going to establish some authority on there. And then what I've done that I've really found success with, and this is very recent for me, um, this might come out later. So, <laughs> you, you know, things will have changed, but I Reels is new newer right mm -hmm. and that's so I Instagram just reels she means Instagram reels yeah so I just started repurposing some of my TikToks um to reels and the first two reels that I posted and again this is very new to me I think I have like six reels up right now um the first two the, fir the first one got 1700 views and then the second one had 1200 views like in the single night that happened I posted wow. those two and, and then I looked at my analytics and I gained a few new followers, but my audience reach went like, get this, it went from like 237 or whatever it was to 4,000 some people wow. I had reached in, like just sharing my TikTok videos I'd already made on Instagram reels. So now my big focus is to really bump that up because Instagram is really where I'm going to find more clientele and be able to be profitable. And then the video is dual purpose, which is another big thing too. And I, I know that you specialize in this, but when I'm talking to my clients and I'm sending them on their way with their branding packages or their messaging or whatever it is we're, we're working on, I'm always like, don't forget, you know, that you should put this in the corner of your video. And if you're taking the time to make this piece and using my copywriting here, you need to use it everywhere because there's no reason why you can't use your video on multiple platforms right. um, and it worked for me. So you do it too. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. That And that's delivering even more value to your clients. I like the idea of like starting where it's fun and then repurposing what works that, that really aligns with what we do. And now, now I want to like add another step into our repurposing because we put stuff on TikTok for our clients, but we haven't been repurposing TikTok for reels, but I think that's a great idea. Because we yeah, have their Instagram. I mean, we put it on IGTV. I, I'm, to I'm, totally, I'm totally addicted. The other thing that I, I also played around with, um, so I have a side hustle. It's his and her five post. It's my financial independence blog. And so oftentimes I'll test a bunch of stuff on there, see how it works for me, and then I'll use it for my business, um, which you don't necessarily have to do that. But for me, it's like I like everything I put out for my, my design business to be really specific and look really good. So I test like, you know, my ugly baby exists on my side hustle. That's <laughs> how I call it. You know, Pixar has their ugly babies um, that they never show anyone. That, that's my side hustle. Uh, but I tested the posting the reels, um, my, my TikToks to reels and then posting my reels on my feed. And what I noticed is that when I posted reels on my feed, it actually dropped my engagement. And then also your feed on Instagram doesn't necessarily look as good because you've got this like odd little square of your video because your video is in the long portrait mode. It's like all um, like chin or something. <laughs> yeah, <and> your <laughs> like mouth is open, you know? So um, although mouth is open is a strategy I've heard, but I, so now I'm like, okay, well, I'm not going to do that. That's not something that works, but I just play around with like my engagement there and see how I can, leverage that in other ways, which has been really cool. Um, and with that, I also discovered, like I was spending so much time doing captions, because I think it's really important that whatever we put out there in visuals and video talks to all your audiences, which means you need captions. Plus, I think it's like 60 some percent of people watching Instagram don't even like have the sound on. So yeah, it's like 80 on Facebook. So you know, like okay, yeah. most of the time people are either like, on their phones when other people are sleeping or like they're in a meeting or yep. like yeah the bathroom <laughs> it's under the desk like yeah you know they're the students or whatever um yeah so i found this app it's called threads and it's free and you can record your video on there and it does really pretty captions because the other thing is i want my captions to look like pretty and they kind of flow in and out of the screen and it um, automatically captions as you record and, and you, then you don't even have to do that. And then you can just worry about like pretty things like arrows and stuff like that. <laughs> so that like, this is a designer talking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
putting making your logo run across the screen or whatever. So I have loved finding things like that that are going to make it easier because that's the other thing. I think a big blocker to doing video is the amount of time it takes. And I totally feel that because it's taking me a ridiculous amount of time when I was testing these on my side hustle and um, just finding ways that you're going to streamline that because the fact is you need to do it, but then you need to also have it work for your life. Totally. I agree with that. Well, this was really cool. Where can people find out more about you? I'll link to this on YouTube if you guys are watching on YouTube or on in our blog post below. Yeah. So my website is bethanyworks.com. Um, you can find out all about me and my services there. I also have a free brand quiz that'll help you find your brand personality if you want to do that. Um, and then on Instagram, I'm Bethany McCamish. And on Twitter, I'm Bethany Works. So find me under all of those names. Awesome. Thank you so much, Bethany. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for having me.